Hello everyone. My name is Rojan and as a part of the RISP 2022 program, I worked in the Argoya lab for autonomous vehicles research under the guidance of Professor Chen Lin and Professor John Dolan. My research was sponsored by the National Science Foundation. The title of my project is Spatio-Temporal Motion Planning for Autonomous Vehicles with Trapezoidal Corridors and Bezier Curves. A self-driving car constantly needs to adjust its path and speed over time to travel without colliding with other agents on the road. It also needs to maintain optimal comfort levels for the passenger sitting inside. This task can be modeled as a trajectory optimization problem where we can enforce the needed safety and dynamic feasibility constraints. Our road can be modeled using three dimensions, the longitudinal direction S, which is the distance traveled along the road, the lateral direction L, which is analogous to different lanes on the road, and a time T. At all given time instants, the dimensions of the cars is fixed and any car can be represented in the SLT world as the blue polyhedron shown here. The exact dimensions of the polyhedron can be calculated based on the position and the velocities of the cars on the road. The key point to note here is that the gray space outside the blue region is the free space for solving or optimization and generating the trajectory in. The space is non-convex in general. So how to solve the optimization problem and how to obtain the search space for it? We construct a series of convex spaces connected to each other, which lie in the non-convex free space we saw in the last slide. Each of this convex region is termed as a corridor. We construct a piece of trajectory in each corridor and joining all of them gives us one final trajectory. Typically, cuboidal or rectangular corridors have been researched before. But as we can see from the figure here, there's a lot of wastage of free space in this and we fail to generate a comfort optimal trajectory. The key idea in our approach was that for the given planning horizon, the shape of our cars in the SLT graph does not change and a 2D slice of the 3D world along the lateral axis only changes when a car appears or disappears. For any of these slices, calculating the bounds in the longitudinal axis and the lateral axis is typically straightforward as we know the position and velocity of the agents using a trajectory prediction algorithm. We can construct trapezoidal corridors in any of these 2D slices using previously done research. We drag these corridors along the lateral axis and we end the dragging whenever a new car is encountered. This gives us 3D trapezoidal prism shaped corridors, which are all convex in nature. Once we have the search space for our optimization, we use piecewise Bezier curves to find the trajectory in each of the corridor. Our motivation to use Bezier polynomials is its convex cell property and the holograph property. Convex cell property constrains the entire trajectory to lie in the convex free space and be collision free. The holograph property constrains the dynamic profile of the whole trajectory. Results. We consider a scenario on the road where there is a static obstacle in the same lane as that of the ego vehicle. We consider a car A which is in front of the ego vehicle. Both of these need to change their lanes because of the yellow obstacle we see on the left. There is a vehicle behind the ego vehicle, which is car C, but it lies in the safe lane, so it can continue going straight. We can model this scenario in the SLT graph using the plots shown on the right. We generate trajectories using two approaches. Our approach, which is the trapezoidal prism shaped corridors, and the cuboidal corridor approach, which is the baseline. We see from these plots that the red curves, which is generated using our approach, is much more smoother than the green curves. We can see from these acceleration and velocity plots in longitudinal directions that our approach generates much more smoother plots for accelerations. What this means is that our approach generates a comfort optimal trajectory, and we can validate that enlarging the search space it generates a better trajectory. In lateral direction, we observe a peak between four to six seconds in the lateral velocity plot. This means that the car is trying to avoid the static obstacle and change its lane. In conclusion, the solution space for optimization was enlarged using our proposed trapezoidal prism shaped corridors, and we could solve the optimization within the real time requirements. I would like to thank my mentors, Professor Chen Lin, Professor John Dolan, and also Ms. Rachel Burson for giving me this incredible opportunity and offering a constant guidance and support throughout the risk journey. I would also like to thank my sponsors, National Science Foundation, for enabling me to research at CMU. Thank you.